bracelet. Oh my god, it's a TH. Tommy Hilfiger or whatever. Like a Louis bag or something. Like usually they have like really do I see it all the time everywhere on the internet. People be finding the most vintage of the vintage um Louis bags and just like Oh my god, Gucci bags and Chanel bags. It's crazy, dude. Like, <clears throat> somebody's grandma died and people don't know what they're dealing with so they just donate out here. It's crazy, so. Yeah, but my luck is still yet. I bought a fake Louis bag once upon a time, but that's a story for another day. This is really, really worn. You see that right there? It's really, really worn. Seven bucks, like ten bucks. It's actually nine. nice. It's in good condition. So so pretty. Speaking of being sixty years old. <coughs> yeah, babe. I have some vintage stuff that I don't show people because it's my own personal things. <laughs> Dude, they have a, like, they have literally one, two, three, four, like, on both sides, like, shelves, big shelves. You'll be surprised at the books that you can find here. They got DVDs, which is so ancient because we stream now. All right, dude. I am in Ballard, Seattle, just minding my own business. I am picking up some prescriptions for my boyfriend. He is... Um, he's at the dentist getting his stuff done. So I'm just over here minding my own business doing the errands and stuff like that It's pretty intense out here. Ballard is pretty busy. I think it's a Thursday. It's definitely a Thursday um, Yeah, oh my god. I made myself a smoothie today uh, I'm gonna show you the cup. It's so cute. So the smoothie I made is literally I've been trading out um, What's called? Uh, I don't eat breakfast anymore. My breakfasts are smoothies and I don't get hungry until like 1 p.m. But today I'm really, really hungry. But I can't eat because when my boyfriend gets out, he's gonna wanna eat. So I'm just gonna drink my smoothie. Yeah, my smoothie, it actually consists of acai, mango, um, apples, banana, some honey, and some chia seeds and um, blueberries, what else does it contain? Water. I put some water up in there. I put some ice cubes, of course. Um, I'm pretty proud of my smoothies. I'm so, so proud of my smoothies. They've been more thicker because I've been adding ice cubes. I used to not add ice cubes to it, so um, it wouldn't last as long. Oh my gosh, there's a patch of blue sky. Let me show you guys. Oh my god. It's 
just a patch. It's a triangle patch. drinking coffee like this they drink oh my god do you see that yeah they drink a whole bunch of stuff coffee goddamn um what is it red bulls rock stars um <clears throat> thai teas i used to drink oh my god what is up with this lighting dude oh my god i've always wanted great lighting and now it's just too much of a great lighting like are you kidding me like seriously so yeah um Dude, I've been making some really, really great health progress, progress on my health. That's what I mean to say. Every single time I click on the camera, I click the record button, I always feel like insecure. I always get a little nervous and I've been saying that and it's just not going to go away. So I just need to get over it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, what can I say, dude? I have to, I, dude, I did, I literally, oh my gosh. I was supposed to buy this gift for Andrew for Christmas and guess what I waited until like two days ago and I had the money and everything was good and everything I just like kept forgetting I literally kept forgetting because it's a it's a certain website and I just kept forgetting I kept forgetting and every single time I told myself hey go look at that website and stuff like that ring it up and whatnot and guess what I kept forgetting and all of a sudden I was cleaning right and I was like oh my god it's already like two weeks away for Christmas barely two weeks away that's a little intense and so I was like oh I have to get that uh, it's okay I was like it's okay there's probably like two days shipping four days shipping I don't know it's an expensive gift so it's definitely gonna be hooked up with free shipping and it said that and so I was like but maybe I could pay for like extra for shipping or something like that I'll figure it out guess what PayPal doesn't work. It says I want to pay through PayPal because in case anything goes bad or anything of that, I can take care of it through PayPal. It's not working. Like PayPal isn't working. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I go to a different website. And I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, it's PayPal. It's definitely um, PayPal secure as well. But, you know, I was just like, I don't know. Like I was just looking at it and everything. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. Um, like whatever this is what you get <laughs> this is what happens when you don't like when you forgot to shop for your boyfriend oh my god so i was like whatever just look into this website and this and that so i looked into a different website and <laughs> um i just i'm laughing so hard right now because i just said what the gift was but i'm gonna edit it out which is really really cool but yeah um the gift looks really really cool and i even got anxiety i was like oh my god what if it's like this and that blah blah i don't know what i thought i know what i thought but i'm not gonna say it out loud so i thought these ideas and then i called up my boyfriend i was like yo um if i want to refund this how does it work and this and that so it was all good like i'm just gonna i just got an email from them and i literally did that as a customer i was like hey i was just wondering when this item gets shipped out blah 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 does it come for christmas and this and that but it's okay because guess what? I have my anniversary on New Year's Day, like New Year's Eve or something like that. 
and that's when I met Andrew. So we celebrate the day we met, which is literally New Year's Eve. Um, and that's coming up. So we give each other anniversary gifts there. And we started dating, like, <laughs> we started, he, I don't, we, he didn't even ask me to be his girl. Yeah, he did. I think he did. He asked me to be his girlfriend, but we just started dating from there on. It's pretty toxic. You know, it's pretty toxic. We just like clicked together and that was it. Um, it's hard. It's so hard to believe I was 21 and he was 27 back then. Um, it's just intense. Like, oh my gosh, like I was 21. Now I'm 25 and he's 30. So yeah. I don't know what to say but I mean I do know what to say I'm just like so like I was like time really does pass pretty quickly like it didn't pass this fast when I was growing up now it's like really really fast like um <clears throat> yeah so yeah uh, I'm just out here you know looking at my life looking around the city waiting for my boyfriend to get out of surgery he's getting surgery I'm just kidding no he's not um he's just getting some work done yeah um dude if you want to change your appearance you know what i was thinking to myself i was like i don't get stuff done and blah 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 dude i changed my brows like i tweeze out my brows i um have definitely altered my brows i definitely alter my appearance when i change my when i like straighten out my hair and stuff like that that's definitely a, um altering appearance getting stuff done so if, anything you want to do like for example it's the holiday season it's a whole new year whole new you i know a lot of people are going to be doing that you should definitely, if you want to change anything about yourself, I've literally changed so many bad eating ha habits. <clears throat> eating habits. I've changed so many bad eating habits, dude. It was really, really bad. My eating habits were so horrible. I've changed certain habits of my life, like bedtime routine and good morning routines and stuff like that. I've definitely changed, um, like, my own beliefs in myself. Like, I'm talking internal emotional work, dude. That's the, like, that is so, so crazy that I really did that. And um, I was supposed, I'm supposed to keep going to the gym and I stopped going to the gym before Thanksgiving because I got booked with this client and I was just busy, busy, busy doing other things. And so um, there's a gym in my apartment. So I have to go more regularly because I really do want to work on my like stomach area and my thighs. I definitely, definitely want to work on like building up muscle too because I've been, I completed one of my goals in my life. I started um, bow, um, arrow and bow like shooting which is really really cool i can't wait to go back and show you guys some videos like some footage of what i actually shoot and whatnot <clears throat> and yeah i can't believe i started shooting in 2021 like i started to actually um yeah like i don't know like i have to just go try it out i have to go to the shooting gun range the gun range i have to go to that see what's up because um i just want to see what's good but yeah um as you can see i'm pretty comfortable i'm just you know doing housewife errand things i have to actually take care of my boyfriend today i'm like his nurse today like he has like he is so drugged up and everything at the dentist and so i have to honestly take care of him but i hope we can go get food after because you know i'm hungry <laughs> this website i have to apply to a whole bunch of i have these plans for myself and i have to apply to a whole bunch of different things that I want to do because I actually want to push myself. I want to see where it takes me. Um, I'm not necessarily bored with the lifestyle or bored with whatever I do. But I'm definitely wanting to expand my horizons and see what's good. I'm so proud for Andrew too. He's going to go um, hang out with his friends one of these days and I'm so happy for him. He's like, I'm going to see what's good or I'm, I'm actually happy for him. I'm like, dude, you should definitely go hang out. You should definitely do this. You should do that. You should do this and you should do that. I wish you'd best if you want to stay over and snap and do i'm gonna get my nails done i'm gonna film i'm gonna post i'm gonna edit i'm gonna spend time with my animals you know what i'm saying i'm gonna actually like dedicate time to me like it's all good like he feels bad for leaving me alone but it's not even like that like i like being alone i like doing whatever i want to do in the comfort of my own home and like my own space and like there's no one around to judge me i really really like doing that i'd be laughing at the most i'd be laughing at nothing like i sound crazy i laugh at nothing but it's not nothing i'm actually thinking it all in my head like everything i think about 
or I'd be remembering stuff and stuff like that. And I just think it's funny, so I'll just randomly laugh. And people are like, you're crazy. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I can entertain myself. Like, I don't need to... I used to rely on the TV. Can you guys believe that? I used to rely on TV. I used to need, when I was 18 years old, um, dog sitting for the first time alone in places. It was so lit like it was so lit but at the same time i needed comfort i needed the tv on i needed like i needed like the tv on and stuff like that and now when i go and stay at places if they got an alexa it's so lit i love it like how yeah i play some music while i wash the dishes while i cook while i do this or this and that house bear um that's his name uh <laughs> i was like just sitting like they had i wish i took pictures like a whole bunch of more pictures but i was just living in the moment i was honestly manifesting a different lifestyle for me and um a different space for me and i was just loving it i really really loved that house i loved it so much um i can't believe i had 19 nights and i only like barely filmed <laughs> because that's real life you know i'm not just a dog sitter i wish i was a full-time dog sitter and uh but i'm on my way you know i'm gonna be doing that but i'm busy you know running businesses and actually taking part of people's lives like being a part of people's lives like that being a part of people's lives it's so different being a part of people's lives and then being present i've been a part of people's lives but not present and i've had to pay the price for that they've paid the price for it um you know even right now they're paying the price for it and i'm paying the price for it right now because like you don't necessarily wish them bad and they don't necessarily wish me bad <laughs> like actually like and then they try it's so weird like i be like just minding my own business on instagram i'm minding my own business on my own place and there's like people snooping through my pictures and snooping through my videos and they don't like they don't comment or anything like that and i'm like and so I go and check out their profile. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on on your side of life? And there's nothing. There's, like, no profile picture. There's no posts and stuff like that. And girls are so weird. Girls have actual spam accounts and they have fake accounts. And they really make fake accounts just to look at what you do and stuff like that. But so that you don't see that it's them checking you out. But you know it's people from your life that really do what the hell I stopped going on Facebook because I had these really really weird family members that diss me in front of my face and behind my back and all over the place to my other family members um and now they're trying to add me like now that I'm now that I'm in my 20s like okay so you used to diss me and judge me and say a whole bunch of crazy stuff about me when I was growing up but now that I'm actually the age I I'm a I'm a real American taxpayer that is crazy that is so so crazy so now that I'm actually a real American grown 25 year old American taxpayer uh, like what can you possibly judge and say and think about me now if you're trying to add me on Facebook you're trying to see like my if you add me on Facebook you're gonna see how I post my links to my YouTube channel it's like my YouTube channel is already opinionated it's already like the way it is I'm like I can't imagine the type of things my family members are gonna think about like it's not cool like it really is a difference there's such a bridge there's such an ocean between Mexican and American viewpoints feelings um <laughs> cultures there's such such a such an ocean and it's never gonna be parted like Moses put his staff in the middle of it it's never gonna be parted like that there's never gonna be a path so you can only get by it by boat if you make the boat go by so yeah I don't think I'm even making sense but you know I should drink water, but I don't want to pee. Hmm. Got an Amazon guy. Amazon delivery guy. Here's my water right here. As you can see, I love this shade. Oh my god. 